If you're in need of a little cleaning therapy, like I am, you'll get a great dose of that today. So let's get to it. I'm at a dispersed camping area for a few days, and that is the perfect time to deep clean because there aren't a lot of people around. I'm going to be getting out a lot of things from my cabinet area, and I'll show you a lot of detail that I don't normally show because it's kind of boring. But if you're interested in that and have curiosity about what I carry in here, you might want to stick around. I just really needed to do this, and so I thought it might be a type of cleaning therapy for you too. problem child for me these days. It's because there's just a lot of things that I've been throwing in there to keep them out of the way. It does not serve me well, so I just want to look at this. So I think one of the things is that I had gotten that water filter and because I don't need to access that as much, I rearranged what's going on down here. I had been looking at a bigger drawer of this. This is just like a hidden plastic door that I have under my shelf here. And so I pulled this one off thinking the other one would fit, but it's wider <laughs> this way. So it makes it very difficult for me to get to these things. So I have to put this one back on when I get more sticky stuff. And then this is, uh, Pot. I don't really talk about this. I don't use it that often. That's if I want to make something like a soup or rice or pasta. It's kind of cool because right in the lid part, it has the holes to drain. So depending on how much you want it drained. But, so here's my issue. So the, as some of you called it, the toaster, which is the water filter, is back there and it takes up that space. So now I've had to move my, and my water jugs are usually in that space. And so there's a lot more space here to put things. So I just put my water jugs here and then I've had to rearrange things here. So I just wanna clean it and then I'll put things away up here as well. I just rearranged a few things to accommodate cause these these used to be down here as well. That is what we're looking at. And I'm going to clean it and we'll see the after. And for cleaning, I use a Norwex. It is called an uh, EnviroCloth. And it just is easy, it's small, it dries fast, and I can just use water and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and it gets things clean. <laughs> These are all of my little things that I use to make my products. My 
presto. I just need to clean it. So, this is really all I have to do with. I guess it's not as bad as I thought. It just felt so disorganized. But I guess it's not that bad. So these things just help it grip a little bit better. I like these being accessible, so I'll just put them back here. Stove goes here. And this just came with it, but it acts good to just keep it from sliding around when I just wedge it in there with the little piece of styrofoam. And so then I will put this here. This is my no filter coffee filter. So it just dries up and then you tap it out and it's clean for the next time. So that's how that is looking. Just pretty simple. This is my little skillet that has a removable handle. Like that, I keep the handle down here. And then I put my plate on top of that. These things will go back here. And then this is a mirror. It's kind of a cool hello mirror that I use to get ready in the morning. And I just store it right here, down here. In this area. So really, you know, all the other stuff in here is I have some coffee, my, all of these little things here. I'll show you what they are. Something fun that I realized is that these things stack really well on top of each other and they don't move. So like that, it pretty much locks it. I mean, it doesn't lock it into place, but it keeps it from jiggling a lot. So I might actually then have room for one, two, three more of these that will help my space. You have seen these as well. This I keep uh, extra pouches of these types of rices and this is green split peas. So those, that's about two weeks worth of packets, beans, lentils, rice, quinoa in little packages. And I've shown you those before. These also are some protein bars. I have some of these things that are just apple, blueberries, non-GMO. You know, I try to, even if they're packaged things, get them with the least amount of preservatives and other added ingredients in them. Try to stick as close to the natural components of it as possible, even if they are packaged then there's organic oatmeal and pistachios. These are my baking things like baking soda. I leave this open for like, once I open a bag of chips and reseal it with my resealer, I just leave this space for putting it back in there just so it's out of the way and a little harder to get to for anything that might be wanting to chomp on it besides me. One of the benefits of not having a lot of shelf space is that there's not much to get dirty. This doesn't really get too dirty. I just have to wipe it down every so often. These things, of course, are the things that will potentially get dirty and I'll just have to take them down. They're just up there with staples. So I would just have to restaple them if I had to clean them and take them down. The paint job's lasting pretty well. There's times when I do touch-ups that I need a few touch-ups here and there as well. Hello! This side also feels a little bit cluttered to me, but it's all pretty useful stuff. I've got some new things that have replaced some old things, and I just haven't given away the old things yet. 
so I have them all <laughs> and that feels cluttered to me. There's one of these that works and one of them that doesn't and I have to figure that out right now. I actually had looked for the bigger hidden drawer to store some of those things while I'm going down the road. I think this has a little drawer in it too, so I might put the, some of the things in there. So I cut a little piece of this to just keep things from sliding around when they are in that drawer. But I think, so I have these little things. I don't know. Oh, they will fit. Okay. So these I got with a little charcuterie board and they're so cool. They actually cut really nicely, but it just, I don't use them all the time. So this is something that could go in here. I have scissors I use almost daily. Oh, this, <laughs> this is just a little emery board. It has a it was my mom's. It has a ladybug on it, so I like it. Um, this little scoop I really don't use. Oh, these pens and stuff. I use this a lot. Oh, this is just an essential oil. So these are just little measuring spoons that I do when I'm making my products. So I need them, but I don't need them here. This was just a decorative piece that was back here at one point, but it fell off and I don't know what to do with it. So I'll probably, I'll just store it until I know if I'm gonna use it again. I really don't need these out. The stuff that I got when I had my Javi coffee in here. There's a reusable straw and some chopsticks. And it fits, so I'm gonna put it there. My new knife. Some of you had been asking in the comments, I will leave a link to it just one I found on Amazon. I liked it because it folds up. And I like that. This is coffee. This is my little spatula that I clean my pots and pans off with. This doesn't really need to be here. I could put it in this thing. Makes more sense to go with that stuff. And then these I usually just use when I have bigger salad or bigger things that I'm serving, which is rare, but they really don't fit anywhere else but there. These little tongs, my knife, the other knife, these are my knives. And then these are what I mainly use to eat. These are measuring spoons that I think I will put in here because I don't use them often. I use this one. To measure things more than I use. These I use mainly when I'm making products and things. So if they fit, I'm going to put them here. I'm going to fit more like this. Let's see. Let's... Ooh, perfect. Okay. And then this is a new little thing that I got. It's a masher. Look. So when you don't have a blender, this you can use to blend things. And it doesn't really fit anywhere but here either. So I'm just gonna go back here. This is another little spatula I have. All right, that's really all I've got. So it looks a lot better. I think I put this here. This is a little mirror. It's kind of broken, but I use it every so often when I need to see myself. This is a French press coffee maker that I use a lot, you can tell. This I use as well for the products that I make and sometimes in baking. I just attached a magnet to the top of my coffee so that I can have that here when I'm going down the road. <laughs> so I know it doesn't feel like a big difference probably for you who are looking at it, but to just have it cleaned and set how I like it. Uh, here are some teas and these things that I found which were very interesting. It's upcycled raspberries, dates, chia seeds, lemon, and fruit pectin. So I don't know how good the lemon concentrate or fruit pectin is for me, but this is good when I need some kind of jam or something on a sandwich. These are you probably all have seen these justins there's almond butter there's peanut butters i have a few that like this is just classic peanut butter almond spread as well almond butter this one has honey in it 
And it's just to have that extra protein around. Again, this is the compromise you have to make when you're living in small, tiny spaces. I know it would be better to get a glass jar of these things, but I don't have room for them. So I do what I can, and this is the best I have found. And if it's helpful for you, even in the short term, when you're traveling or thinking of what to do, hopefully it gives you an idea. I also tend to get these so that I can reseal them. Like this is one that I resealed a while ago because I used. But if I get these small ones, which are usually cheaper anyway, finely diced walnuts, finely diced pecans, they have these in the baking section usually, but I use them instead of the big jars of peanuts or walnuts or anything because they're just easier to carry for me. Uh, these are some little, whenever I find little package things that might be useful for me, like this is just coconut oil in a pack. These are honey in a pack. So anything that I find, condiments, sometimes I will pick them up if I see them and think, oh, that's cute, that'll fit here and I'll have it in case I need it. This is how this looks without everything on it. It's just really plain. I have attached these little Velcro things here just to hold this up a little bit better. Since I don't bring it up and down all the time like I used to, it gets a little stagnant here. So gotta fluff it up and bring it up so that it is good here. So I usually just on occasion set that back up again and then with the blankets there it keeps it in place uh, you don't often see what this looks like without everything I just have those bags that hold socks and gloves and things here I have put a bungee cord so that if I stop the mattress doesn't fly forward the bungees are attached to these factory bolts so this is a D bolt I guess <laughs> and it is attached to the van so I just feel like I mean as much as I can protect it from coming forward if I should have to stop suddenly and same on this side but then this would be what it looks like without my blankets but I put my blankets as a way to store the blankets but also as a way to protect the couch good to get that done thanks for hanging out with me if you haven't seen the video of the cab area makeover you can tap the screen here as always thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video